Yo people, welcome back. Today is going to be a very exciting start and marks the beginning of a new build project. And this video is brought to you by Squarespace. They are the all-in-one, all-encompassing online platform that allow you to build an unreal looking online presence and start your business. Today is a massive day. It's the first day that I'm going to be collecting dirt and mud, whatever you want to call it, to build the jumps in my back garden in the field to create that really cool mountain bike setup on my own land, which has always been a childhood dream of mine. So Sam Anslow here, who's helped me dig at Woburn over the years, he's been flat out up there, my compound, all sorts. He drives tractors for a living. What's this one called? A fence. This is called a fence. It weighs eight tons and we're not towing anything yet. So we're off to one of his farms to collect some mud. That's why I'm here to help choose the best stuff for digging trails, the best stuff for riding on. And at the same time, I get to go in a tractor. I've never ever been in a tractor. So today marks the start, the very beginning of that project, which is awesome. We've already got the pit bike track, but this has always been the main goal, to ride push bikes, not motorbikes. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Look at the beast! Yes. It's actually crazy how high up tractors are. Everyone just sees, sees the back two wheels when they're sat behind them on main roads and get angry. But it's not till being in one where you realise how high you are and secondly, how fast you're actually, or how fast it feels like you're going, even though everyone behind gets angry. And then we're going to have how much dirt? 20 tonnes? 10 tonnes? Yeah, about that. We're going to do a 10 tonne load. This is Sam's day-to-day -day occupation. Cruising at about 2 miles an hour across thousands of acres. Daily! <laughs> First and most important decision is choosing the earth, the soil, the dirt. So we've gone for this nice dark... It's basically topsoil. This grass is going to grow in it, which is actually quite cool. It'd be nice to like have it all in keeping with the field that's there and it all look green. And then the stuff you ride on just be exposed. We're going to start loading the trailer. It is 15 tonnes actually, it turns out. So that's loads. Each trip's 15 tonnes. I'm sure we're going to need a lot of these. So we'll get cracking, load it up, and then we're back on the road. On the road again. See, to me, one of those buckets looks like a jump. Like that is a jump, that's a takeoff in that bucket. And it hasn't even covered the bottom of the big trailer. So we're filling it with lots and lots of jumps today. There goes Sam off to scoop up another jump. Bit of wheel spin. There goes my first landing. Just standing here and seeing where the scoop of the telehandler, like the bucket, has pushed into the dirt, you can see how well, like that, you can see how well that's going to compact, which is perfect for riding on. I was pretty worried that we'd get here and there'd be nothing suitable, but it's very, very suitable. It's not sand, it's more like clayey mud, so we're going to build some cool features and some sick shapes. What a day for it as well. What a day to be a farmer. So that's three loads already in the trailer. Sam's gone to get a fourth one, but this is so exciting. Every one of those bucket loads is so many man hours of digging. Can you imagine how long it would take to get that out of the ground or just wheelbarrow that into position? But that's getting on for 15 tons in that short time. Here we go, packing it in. It's just a massive, massive shovel controlled by your fingertips. Cheers, Sam. No worries, boy. Is it way harder driving with that much weight behind, or does this not even notice? Uh, it's nicer, to be honest. Really? Well, yeah. it bounces less. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to get this over there, man. It's go time. <laughs> hey. Nice one, mate. You're welcome, mate. Happy Beck. You like your new mud mound? We could have gone a lot further down towards the pit bike track, but I'd rather have it all out the way up here, just tucked away, because I don't know yet what the layout's going to be. It's all going to start off quite small and creative. That's the main thing. I've built a pump track before, so I'm thinking quite creative with this again. But that's not enough. We're off to get a second load. 
Here we go, number two. Number two. Little bit of spillage. Yes. And it packs down real good too. Hell yes. Yes, Sam. It's day two and I'm gonna get digging right now. Shovels are about to go in the ground. It's so important at the minute for people to stay at home and self-isolation is a massive factor and a really important thing to be doing right now. But thankfully, I've got all the tools. I've got wheelbarrows, shovels, dirt, GoPros for cool time lapses and space. So, what I don't have is speed. There's no roll in, there's no steep hill. So it's quite flat. It does run slightly downhill, which is important. But what that means is I need to gather speed. And the best way to do that is by building pump bumps or rollers. So I'm gonna start right here, close to the dirt pile and build a double roller first. And then we can start meandering our way through the field because what I don't wanna build, what I definitely don't wanna build is a straight line of jumps. That's boring. I want to go everywhere, all over the place. So we're going to start here and I can get a little bit of speed by pedalling down the side, but the trails start here, double roller, let's build it. Double roller is complete and that's actually taken a lot longer than you might think. We've had to fish out all of the weeds and grass out of the topsoil, which is only natural being topsoil, and it's all gonna grow back, but we can control that. But what we've got is a mega double roller. They're actually quite big, bigger than planned, which is cool. And I may later put a smaller roller in before to make it into a triple roller, because they're pretty big. You'll generate a lot of speed pumping over these. And I'm really, really stoked with this dirt and how it compacts. We're pushing the wheelbarrow over it with Beck in it and Ben had one full of dirt and it's like, listen, for the first couple of hours, that's much better than sand. You actually wouldn't be able to do that with sand. So I'm stoked. Right, moving on, because this isn't over. We've Look at all the space and look what we've managed. This is going to be a long series of videos. I want to go right because it's kind of like round a cool corner. So I could build a berm, but the ground slightly runs uphill there, only momentarily which is a problem, but not if you put a jump because we can use that uphill to build a step up. So I want to have a slightly right hipped step up to get some more height. And then hopefully by that point, we might be like, well, where's the landing going to be? Here, maybe waist height, which is cool. Yeah, I don't see why not. Coming out of rollers that size, right hip. And then oh, I'm not ever going to plan ahead. I'm going to work one feature at a time. I've never, ever had the opportunity to have a blank canvas. There's always a tree in the way or a mound or someone else's jumps. This is a blank canvas. So I'm going right first, right hip, and we're gonna start building that now.
So it's been a pretty productive but very tiring digging session. Literally haven't left this square 50 meters all day for hours. We've got a sick double roller and now a takeoff to show for it. And it's getting dark, but tomorrow morning I'm gonna be back at it, building the landing of the right hip. So it looks cool. It's very, very rock hard and compact, which is sick. And when the sun gets to it, it's gonna be, hopefully it'll go off like concrete. But tomorrow, while it's still fresh, I'm going to go over it with a proper watering can and really gloss it up and make it look amazing in the sun. But the landing, let's have a look. There's absolutely no way of knowing how fast I'm going to come into these. I learned from building my last pump track to spread rollers out and make them quite open. I built such nibbly, aggressive rollers before, so I've learned that mistake. That is going to ride a lot better and should deliver quite a lot of speed. For what's quite a small takeoff, I put a bit of camber on it, a bit of angle, which works well for a hit. But I'm thinking landing out there, something like that. Yeah. So if you jump to the outside, it's a good eight foot, seven foot, inside lower, but then obviously we'll be motoring. So that's been very, very good. The one thing I am going to do before going indoors is sort my shovel out. So I'll show you now. All day I've been scraping the mud off the back of my shovel and it's quite clayey actually. It's way stickier than the topsoil I thought it was but I think that's because there's paint on the shovel. So I'm gonna head into the garage now. I'll show you, we're gonna go and grind all the paint off and then tomorrow for the polish up, it should save me a lot of time. Hopefully that's gonna make a massive difference. We're now on day three. We're gonna soak both rollers, soak the takeoff and really smooth up all the edges so that it can bake in the sun today. We're moving towards stuff looking quite rideable, which is pretty cool after one day's digging. So let's do this now. to do is build the landing but I'm gonna do that in the next video because there's a lot to happen I think you guys have got a gist of what's going on and also suggestions what would you do with this space I don't mean build a 14 foot vert ramp I mean what features are creative and are this sort of size at this point because there is options there's infinite options and you guys have probably seen jumps that I've not seen so that's the end of this video we've done loads I'm gonna put another roller in I think before that definitely actually make it into triple roller build a landing and then we continue so that's mega thank you to squarespace for sponsoring this video this build this channel it's been really really cool they are the one-stop shop to build that dream business that amazing website you've always been wanting to do especially now at a time where there is a bit more time available to people if you have got that dream you can put it into practice and you can start a free trial over there they have the ability to purchase a domain name at the point of building the website. So if you know what your business is called, you can buy a domain that's gonna match that exact company as you build the website in Squarespace. Then you can use calendars to book appointments. There's loads of cool stuff you can do. Head over to Squarespace, hit the link in my description, start your free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can use the code that's down there to save 10% off your very first purchase, which is very cool. We're back for more building. Stay safe, stay at home, it's really important, and I'll see you in the next video.